Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Your Favorite Show, Some Majesty Reacts with me, your host, Smarty, whom you can find on all social media platforms at Smarty237. On this episode, I will be bringing you guys up to speed with the latest happenings in uh, our entertainment sector, given that I've not filmed for a while. So please do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. No one. This period right now in Cameroon is what I've coined award season because from late September right up to this present moment, a lot of awards have been popping up and um, given the public their nomination list for artists uh, and fans alike to vote for themselves and for the artists that they love in these different uh, music awards and different categories. First, it was the Canal Door Awards. As you know, Canal Door takes place once in every two years and it's the most prestigious award ceremony we have in Cameroon and arguably in Central Africa, you know. Um, this year's award uh, nomination list, as usual, was jam-packed with artists from both the English-speaking sector and the French-speaking sector. We had nominations from Charlotte Zipanda, uh, Lady Pons, Coco Jante, Caves Fotso, going right down to the Stanley Enors, uh, Witty Minstrels, Kaminis, Vernutinas, and the rest. Everybody was excited to see the nomination list, although some categories had some nominees there that people were putting question marks on. But one artist in particular was missing from the nomination list, and that is Magasco. A lot of people were of the opinion that he deserved at least one nomination, given that he has done a lot of work, including putting out an album over the course of the last two years. Uh, video director Ada Kenji said that he will not be attending the show, uh, given that Magasco was not nominated. And um, I have said this before, probably on Facebook, but not here on SM Reacts. Magasco is a very talented artist, but for some reason, you know, where it matters, people do not get to see him. You get what I mean? He's one of those artists that you know that he exists, but you're not versed with what is happening around his brand. And what people do not know is awards have to do with lobbying, you know. It's everywhere. If it's, it's the Grammys, it's the MTV Awards, it's everywhere. You have to lobby. You have to position yourself in places whereby these organizing bodies are going to see you and, you know, get versed with your work so that they could nominate you. No be pacha. And I hated the fact that a lot of people were trying to make it seem like it's an Anglophone versus Francophone thing. But Witty Ministry had a nomination. Kamini had a nomination. Venue Tina had a nomination. Magasco not getting a nomination had nothing to do with the fact that he's Bamen the boy. And I know like the fact that people are trying to paint that picture. He just needs to lobby better, position himself better, and he's going to get these uh, nominations. And hopefully, why not the award itself? You know, um, all the best to him. And uh, aside from that, I really did not see anything too pertinent with the Canal Door nominations. A few days later, uh, the Cameroon International Music Festival Sinfest, which will be organizing its first edition this year in November, released uh, their nomination list for awards. And it seemed like they just wanted to dash Magasco nominations or dash Magasco an award because they nominated him in some categories that he deserved and other categories that I was like, what is happening here? And the Sinfest nomination list had a lot of problems that I do not want to dive into because this video go over long. You know, but I'll just point out one. What the fuck is Most Fallen Icon? As somebody who follows the entertainment industry like that, gah, like, I was seeing names here, awards here, names here, nominations here. I cannot begin to tell you who was nominated where, but just know that there is the Canal Door Awards that voting is going on for right now. There's the Sinfest Award. There's the Afrima, the diaspora own. There's the Afrima, which is the continent's own. And then there is CMEA Awards, I think. And then you also had BDMA, the Bonte Digital Media Awards, which just uh, revealed to the public that not only would they, not only would the award take place on the 15th of December, but Ebuka will be traveling all the way from Nigeria to come host uh, this year's edition. That brought a lot of outrage on social media because people were like, wow, you pay Ebuka huge sums of money because obviously Ebuka is not going to come cheap, but you cannot pay uh, a home-based MC to handle the show, you know. But 
those were very unnecessary comments. Ebuka is a huge brand. You know, him coming to Cameroon presents a lot of business opportunities for Cameroonians and for the Bonte Digital Media Awards brand, you know. So rather than grumbling, try to figure out what is adding to this and then fit yourself into that equation. So BDMA 15th uh, 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 December 2021, they will soon reveal their nomination release. So this has been award season altogether here in um, Cameroon. In another high note, Mr. Liu finally released uh, his music uh, album entitled Lion of Africa. You know, it's completely different from what we are used to hearing from Mr. Liu, but I listened to it passively and there were a lot of songs there that I liked. In the direction that he took, it's a good body of work. It is available for streaming on all digital or all uh, music streaming platforms online. Do well to listen to it. You might fall in love with this new sound. In other news, I uh, had announced to you guys that Biggie 237 Season 2 uh, was going to start. That's when I filmed the last episode, which I can't remember when that was. And yes, it really started well. Uh, the show has been going on with Fish, Cameroonian artist Fish being in the house and him, of course, being a fan favorite. But he got into some drama with one housemate called Patience and they have been going back and forth over the course of the last three weeks or so. So it keeps people hooked up to the show. I'm not watching it because I don't have time. I just watch the highlights and keep tabs on what is happening with getting eliminated and all that. So do well to keep tabs on the show. You will like it. I hear it's interesting. A few weeks back, Tila revealed that she has been a survivor of uh, molestation and rape, you know, and uh, she went on social media to say that these are things that she has been dealing with since when she was 13. You know, she went ahead to even reveal the name and the picture of her uncle, who was her alleged uh, molester and uh, rapist. She said this was part of her healing process and uh, she just wanted to put it out there to free herself. And as usual, the backlash that came from bigoted, misogynistic men. This patriarchy system will shock you. So men reason with their buttholes. And this is me being really polite and really sweet, but you read a comment from a man and you ask yourself, like, who raised this pig? You know, it's just bullshit. But as usual, backlash, because it's a woman, they always feel like maybe they're trying to chase cloud, you know, maybe she's trying to ride the Daphne wave, maybe, or why are you saying it now? All those dumb questions that people really do not even sit down to think before asking you know and uh, i did reach out to tila as you know tila and i have a history of beef you know i reached out to her and she responded you know so the energy between us is really cool there's not going to be any tila beef henceforth on this channel if i talk my thing about tila and i throw my shit when i go make a me tila feel saying a problem and they bring them i go get problem with una. Me and Tila are good. And like I told her, I'm still saying it here, I wish her all the best. And for other survivors, I'm not trying to use the word victim, other survivors of rape and molestation, your stories are valid. If you need to express yourself to get your healing, do that. If you need to go to therapy, do that. Do whatever it takes, but make sure you heal. Make sure you share your stories with people that are willing to hear those stories because these are things that are happening in today's society. From one rapper to the next, ask her don't run married. Ask her don't run married for the 11th time because I'm saying 11th because nobody really is keeping count. You know, it, I think they celebrated their two year anniversary, marriage anniversary has not been long, but then, and it came at a time when they had just put out a song, you know, uh, Free Boy uh, Lama with, then, with the Jungis on a the song. They did the song together, put it out there. Two days later, Askia comes online and she's like, oh, Mari don't finish. You know, they again, Mari don't finish. You know, and then the guy, the, the husband in question goes online and he's throwing shots and then ask her starts throwing shots too, calling him a deadbeat dad who sits at home and just smokes weed all day and is not working anything. I am wishing Aske all the very best. I hope that she focuses on herself. If not, they married fine for you, may go back for the marriage for the 12th time, you know, and then, you know, try to make it work. But if she sees that it's not going to work, let her take care of herself and her daughter. No can snap picture with, with the Amasa, put them back, say, we don't come back together only to separate again after three months. Like, we are tired. We are tired of you people doing all of that. 
stuff. My guys go home and don't run married. He name na Fallon. You know, Fallon for me stands for a girl that jumps from one place to another like a green grasshopper. Phew, 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 phew. Basically, uh, you know, she has been married to the guy for uh, a while now. And uh, everything seemed fine. Everything seemed good. And on her birthday, Magasco goes online and he's like, Happy birthday to my beloved wife. God do what? God do her. God do this. All the best. And it was a random day, a normal day. Everybody thought that everything was cool. Few minutes later, the girl goes to Instagram and puts up a post saying that let Magasco fans tell him to leave her alone. The marriage is not working. She has filed for divorce. She married him out of pity. Patati, patata, yam done, yam no done. Uh -uh. Magasco goes online and, and makes a post saying that his wife's phone was stolen and uh, that post was not made by his wife. It was made by somebody who is trying to destroy their couple and destroy their marriage. And even goes ahead to post a screenshot of how he was talking to his wife. But even he himself, he didn't say no gay sense because in that screenshot, you could clearly see how somebody is talking to the wife and the wife is answering a prayer emoji. How do you ask your wife permission to post her on her birthday? Like, how does that even work? No, we don't sleep. We got up now in the morning and we saw Fallon after she has hopped and hopped and hopped. She reached Limbe. Bea was throwing her birthday party. Man, a woman who... <laughs> My... Somebody's son will find me one day. Somebody's son came and found Fallon. And Fallon said, it's a lie. She no wants. <laughs> She went away, you know. So the guy uh, threw her a surprise birthday party. Not very much surprise because there were a lot of people in that place. There were more, about 30 people in that place, you know. And that would mean that it's not one of these things the way did it happen for back back or whatever. It's something that is deliberate. You get what I'm saying? Because where are all these 30 people from? Who are they? <laughs> you know, you're somebody's wife. And not be knocked down, not be traditional married because she said she has filed for divorce. Which means they signed the court marriage, if I'm not mistaken, because you are filing for divorce, we're in church. You know, this is somebody's legally wedded wife catching cruise with another man in Limbe. Anyway, report has it that the guy in question is her ex. It's the guy she left before deciding to marry Magasco out of pity. You know, and uh, you know, she also threw allegations calling Magasco a wife beater. You know, calling a very violent guy and all of that stuff. At this point, I I think Magasco dodged the bullet, you know, and uh, you know, I will I don't have anything to say. I really do not have anything to say. And this is coming uh just a few weeks after Magasco's baby mama, aka my boss, aka Banga Njang, called uh the embassy uh there in the u.s and cancelled magasco's visa magasco was supposed to come to the u.s and perform for a show that ibanga after they had had one of those their dramas that had to do with Fallon. it's a long story she called the embassy and they cancelled magasco's visa you know and then a few weeks later this is happening even though that ibanga action i looked at it and i was like magasco has always been present in the life of his daughter you know, so if you're removing food from Agasco's mouth, you're removing food from your daughter's mouth. It does not make any sense whatsoever. Then come to the US and perform and then get his back, give some to his daughter and then coming back to Cameroon. Why cancel the visa? You know, but Ibanga is a very emotional person. I know because I work with her. You know, but that was not a smart thing to do. So at this point, Magasco has just been dealing with one issue after the next, after the next, after the next. All what I have to say is, Magasco, take care of yourself. Young girls, don't be like Fallon. Just do not try as much as possible not to be like Fallon. Just like it's hard for most of you from that gender, but try not to be like Fallon. And Ebangajang, no cost me problem. This is SM Reacts to Smarty. This is my own show. If you divex and you want to talk your side of the story, Bank with your own show. <laughs> and talking about shows, Ebanga is going to be launching her own show on the couch with Ebanga, which will start filming uh, early 2022 and it will be here on Sa Majesty Music YouTube channel. So if you haven't done so already, click on the subscribe button below and uh, you know, get 
updates every time I put new content on this channel and you know stay tuned for there will be a couple more shows coming on this channel uh, come 2022. If you liked what you watched uh, do well to click on the like button below and drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next episode. God bless you. Bye.